Elizabeth C. Crosby October 25, 1888, to July 28, 1983, was an American neuroanatomist. Elizabeth C. Crosby was born to Louis Frederick and Francis Kreps Crosby in Petersburg, Michigan in 1888. Crosby received the National Medal of Science from President Jimmy Carter in 1979 for outstanding contributions to comparative and human neuroanatomy and for the synthesis and transmission of knowledge of the entire nervous system of the vertebrate phylum." Her careful descriptions of vertebrate brains, especially reptiles, helped outline evolutionary history, and her work as a clinical diagnostic assistant to neurosurgeons resulted in the correlation of anatomy and surgery. Topic. Education and career Crosby graduated from Adrian College with a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics in 1910. Influenced by Professor of Physics and Chemistry Elmer Jones, she attended the University of Chicago under C. Judson Herrick and received her Master's of Science in Biology in 1912 and then her Ph.D. in Anatomy in 1915 via a fellowship. In 1920, Crosby accepted a teaching position in the University of Michigan's Department of Anatomy under G. Carl Huber. Her classes included histology and neuroanatomy. In 1923, Crosby took a sabbatical to work with the renowned scientist C. U. Arians Kappers at the Central Institute for Brain Research in Amsterdam. While there, she contributed significantly to the comparative anatomy of the nervous system of vertebrates 1936. Although Crosby did not have a medical background, she became the first woman to receive full professorship at the University of Michigan Medical School, in 1936 and the first to receive the university's Faculty Achievement Award, given in 1956. In 1939, she took a sabbatical to work with Professor Robert Douglas Lockhart at the University of Aberdeen in Scotland. Due to introduction of wartime transatlantic travel restrictions in the Second World War she unintentionally remained there until 1941. She eventually became Professor Emeritus of Anatomy and Consultant of Neurosurgery before leaving the University of Michigan for University of Alabama at Birmingham in 1963, where she again became Professor Emeritus of Anatomy. She was inducted into the Alabama Women's Hall of Fame in 1987. Crosby's excellence in teaching was officially recognized in 1957 when the Gallen Society of the University of Michigan Medical School established the Elizabeth C. Crosby Annual Award for the best preclinical teaching in the school. Other distinctions and awards include 1926, the Solis Award from the University of Michigan, 1946, the Henry Russell Lectureship from the University of Michigan. 1950, the Achievement Award of the American Association of University Women 1957, the Elizabeth C. Crosby Award for Best Preclinical Teaching established by the University of Michigan Medical School's Gallen Society 1970, the Honorary Doctorate of Sciences from the University of Michigan 1972, the Henry Gray Award of the American Association of Anatomists 1980, Distinguished Faculty Lecturer from the University of Alabama Birmingham 1980, National Medal of Science presented by President Jimmy Carter Topic. Selected works 1936, with Cornelius Ubbo Arians Kappers and G. Carl Huber, The Comparative Anatomy of the Nervous System of Vertebrates, Including Man, Volume 1, Volume 2. New York, Hafner Publishing Company. OCLC 560551865. 1962, Correlative Anatomy of the Nervous System. New York, Macmillan. OCLC 557246. Topic. References Hill, Whitley. Quiet Pioneer. Medicine at Michigan. University of Michigan. Retrieved the 11th of July 2013. Topic. Further reading Shearer, Barbara Smith, Shearer, Benjamin F. 1996. Notable Women in the Life Sciences, A Biographical Dictionary. Westport, C.T., Greenwood Press. 
ISBN 9780313293023